a Windows 8 Forums video production. Visit us at windows8forums.com. Hello, this is Mike from windows8forums.com. While Windows 8 is Microsoft's latest flagship operating system, and while it contains many features that enhance the overall user experience, many customers have complained about the lack of start menu in the operating system. I am here to discuss the Start 8 application and what it does for you as far as retaining the start menu and bringing it back into Microsoft Windows 8 without much difficulty. Start 8 is a program created by Stardock. Software Incorporated. The software is only a couple megabytes, but it allows you to completely customize the start menu, which was absent from the Microsoft Windows 8 uh, publication. And therefore, you can have your start menu back and you can continue to access the actual uh, non start menu area, the Metro UI, as well. So there's really no silver lining to this cloud. Uh, except for the fact that you have to actually pay for the software. Uh, the program is pretty simple. It allows you to create a different themes. As you see, there's a rounded theme. There's a Windows 7 theme. Uh, we can disable the translucency or enable it. Uh, you have a solid theme for Windows 7 and you have a the default theme with black edges and we can change the flag down here to whatever we like. Uh, this is the start eight start orb. And then of course there are custom images that come with the software uh, that include icons. Um, you will be familiar of course with these, uh, which are very similar. Uh, to the Windows 7 start icon. Now, uh, you can configure the start menu with start 8 very similarly to the way that you could configure uh, the actual start menu in Windows 7. So for anyone who has missed the original start menu, this software is what you're looking for. Uh, you can add the control panel, documents, downloads, favorites, help and support, home groups, music, network, pictures, uh, personal folders, recent items, recorded TV, the run button, uh, videos, etc. Show your user picture or not, highlight newly installed programs, uh, use large icons, and you have nearly every option, including some additional options that were not included with the original start menu. Uh, because the software includes its own dynamic link libraries uh, when it's loaded, you don't really have to worry about it taking up too much resources or, or editing the Windows shell in any way. As a matter of fact, uh, you can determine whether or not you want the computer to jump directly to the desktop uh, when the system starts. Uh, so there is a feature called automatically go to the desktop when I sign in. And this is a great feature uh, for those who are interested in that. Um, so you'll never even see the Metro UI if that's your actual goal. And when looking at it, uh, if you set it to the default theme, you can go to the Windows 8 menu. And here you are again, right in the Windows 8 menu. Um, so you're not losing any functionality that you don't want to lose. And I just thought I'd present this to those who do not know about the software. This is not a paid endorsement of any software. You don't have any relationship with this company. Uh, but it is generally considered to be the best software for restoring what was the start menu. And uh, of course, I use this software on my computers. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I do use it for technical reasons. And of course, because I am simply just used to the start menu and enjoy using it. Uh, with this enabled, I am able to do my work uh, as I need it, access my applications 
uh, as I need them without having to encounter the Windows 8 menu, the Metro UI menu too often. Uh, of course, there are some advantages to this menu, uh, but for me, those advantages are few and far between when it comes to the functionality of the original start menu, which I prefer greatly in comparison. For example, there is a Skype for desktop application, and there is also a Skype Metro UI application, or you could call it a modern UI application. Um, uh, for me, the Skype modern UI application is unusable unless I really had a touch screen. Um, you know, and I think that's the case with a lot of this software. Another example is the Netflix app. While this Netflix app was not created by Microsoft, um, if you wanted to watch a television program or a movie, and it's a series of television programs or movies, the Netflix application within the modern UI or Metro UI, uh, it'll actually stop uh, after every episode that you watch. But if you launch it from the browser on the desktop, it will not, those episodes will not stop one after the other. Um, you still have some time out period where, say you're watching an episode of a television series and you're watching episode one, it'll go right into episode two uh, without, you know, stopping you from watching it. And that's a little weird explanation there, but there are a lot of differences between these apps. Um, you know, obviously the Wikipedia app is something that exists and it's pretty neat. You know, if I had a touchscreen computer, I wouldn't mind using this app, just, you know, touching different sort of, you know, I don't know about touching Richard Nixon's face, but, uh, you know, it, it would be interesting to be able to use the software. But um, for my purposes, because I don't have a touchscreen computer, I enjoy just being able to use the desktop very simply and having the start menu available. I can access all the software I need. Uh, I can even record videos. And uh, I can go to the Wikipedia homepage without having to touch Richard Nixon's face. So that's basically uh, the gist of this, and most people get it within the first five minutes. But I just thought uh, you'd be interested, and I'll show you where you can find this software. It's very simple. Uh, you want to go to google.com or Bing, type in start eight, all one word, and you'll go to startoc.com forward slash products forward slash start eight. And there it is. You can even download a trial of it. Uh, the trial is um, pretty cheap. Uh, it's free. And of course, you can buy it for $4.99. So you get a whole bunch of uh, great features here, uh, even group policy support. So gpedit.msc and the uh, Microsoft snap-ins are there. Uh, so that's it for that. So I just thought I would show you guys this and uh, take care out there. If you're missing the old Windows 7 style start menu, uh, you can go ahead and use that. Now I'll show you one more feature before I go, and this is a Windows 8 style start menu. This is kind of weird, um, but it's there. And if you use the Windows 8 style start menu, when you click down here on the start menu tile, you're going to come up with the Metro UI. So that's actually an added functionality uh, from the software that does not exist in any version of Microsoft Windows, which I think is actually uh, quite innovative. Um, Stardock, they used to develop uh, the theming system, and perhaps I, they may even still do so um, for Microsoft, uh, for their Windows uh, operating system products. Um, for example, they were very instrumental in developing the theming system for uh, Windows 7, uh, the Aero uh, interface, um, as well as the Luna desktop interface for Windows XP. Um, so this is actually good, uh, high quality software. It takes up very few resources, if any. Um, and I think that you'll find it's an absolute 100% solution to your woes uh, if you're not satisfied with that Metro UI. Thanks for watching.